suppose you wanted to kill someone. That would be easy. There are a lot of ways. Then there's the really big obstacle. You want to get away with it. You're determined to stab four people living in a single home in the still of the night and then disappear. The Kibbe Dome, packed with more than 7,600 fans. And despite the disappointing loss, Saturday night was still party night for a college celebrated in knowledgeable polls as, quote, the best party school in the state. And then, in the heavy quiet of the new Sunday morning, four young corpses, all students, all friends, were found hacked to death in their beds. When the 911 came in, Grunderson had a corporal and two other officers on duty to assist with patrol. He could have left the response to them. He certainly, he'd tell the people with a hint of embarrassment, had no intimidation of something out of the ordinary. That morning, he was simply eager to break the monotony. And, as always, he felt strongly it was important for him to get out on the street where people could see him. It was a quick trip. The roads leading into the university neighborhood that Sunday were empty as the classrooms. And as soon as Gunderson's black and white cruiser pulled up behind the neat row of cars parked in the driveway, he immediately knew something was very wrong. It was the noise. There just wasn't any. Be sure to check out my other videos and playlists for more true crime content. And if that's not enough, you can join our Patreon. Don't have a tinfoil hat? It's okay. We'll make you one. It's that easy. See you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye.